five o'clock that evening we had a phone call to say that they'd found his body. There was a boat that had capsized. My knees just went, just collapsed underneath me. There was a knock at my door and my dad came in and that was when he told me Matt had lost control of the car and that's all we know. I remember clinging onto my sister's neck, 101 questions going through my head. I felt weak and numb. A lot of those first days are blank. There was a lot of sitting. The shock is so overwhelming. Loss would be an island the size of my feet that only I was standing on, with wind and waves trying to make me lose my balance. It was like I was falling and you don't quite know when or where you're going to land. It doesn't make sense. It really, really hurts. Even putting on your socks in the morning is hard. It's all just exhausting. grief can sometimes build and build and it's pressure. I had to stop and just begin to breathe again. Don't suffer alone. There are other people that know how much it hurts. You'll go through different stages. You might feel angry or guilty or lonely. Allow yourself to just be each day. Don't fight it. So much of it isn't going to make sense. But slowly you begin to accept that it has happened. I think the hardest thing is how much you miss them. You will miss this person forever. Of course you will. That's right. Ten years on I still deal with grief of losing my brother. But it's given me a real fight. A real strength. You begin to build a kind of new normal. And slowly, putting on a fresh pair of socks just becomes a little easier.